Hello and welcome to this video on configuring LDAP for eDirectory within the Filer Appliance. Log into the Filer Appliance and uh, go to the Administration Console and um, if you just scroll down towards the bottom we've got the option at the bottom here for LDAP. Select that. I've got this already set up for a Windows Server but something we can do in Filer is actually have multiple directories. Uh, in this case uh, we'll have both uh, AD and E directory configured. So to add the E directory LDAP I just need to click on add. I need to put in my LDAP server URL which is LDAP colon uh, slash slash uh, OES dot demo dot live and I need to do a colon 389 on the end for insecure LDAP in this case I've uh, turned off secure LDAP on uh, e directory. Um, of course if I wanted to I could configure this as LDAP S. If I did that I'd need to import the LDAP certificate into this appliance. Next we need to set up the uh, LDAP proxy user uh, configuration. So here I have a user that I've already created called Filer Proxy um, and that's in a container called System and hopefully that's the password. Uh, directory type is eDirectory. Uh, leave the other attributes the, as they are at the moment. Um, we can then just click on Users and in this case I'm going to add a new user container to import from. If I click on the browse this is the first time we know if the use of the password and the URL are correct. So in this case I want to bring in users from the Utopia uh, container and I'll just say search subtree so all the users under there come in. If I wanted to I can change this filter so that um, I only users who are members of a particular group get imported. If you look in the admin guide you've got the filter there that it uh, talks about. Um, I typically would say use the LDAP home directory attribute if I've got that configured in the um, directory. Uh, we do have some other ways of setting that up as well uh, should you need to. If I just click OK to that and then we want to set up groups. So as far as the groups are concerned um, I need to really bring in all the groups that are being used for file access control on the file system. If I don't bring in a group and you've got um, file access assigned to that on the NSS volume then Filer doesn't know what users are in that group and therefore can't give rights to that um, directory or file. So in this case I'll just search subdirectory and we'll say OK. Um, if I just go into the user settings uh, you most probably by default this is set to disable account. Uh, in this instance I've set it to delete accounts that aren't found in LDAP so as you delete a user from eDirectory that will get deleted from here. Also just set the time zone as appropriate for your environment um, there. On the group settings again by default this uh, setting is disabled so I'm just going to say that I want to delete the users uh, groups that are no longer in LDAP. I then can specify a synchronization schedule so typically you may want to synchronize this once a day. Um, if it doesn't take that long you know if it's only 20 seconds to synchronize then maybe do it a bit more frequently um, but that will just bring in any changes from eDirectory into Filer. Um, uh, there and finally I've got this option for local user accounts uh, which are accounts that aren't in the um, e-directory but am I going to let uh, accounts that are only in Filer that the administrator has defined within Filer be able to log in so uh, depending on your environment you may want to enable that. What we now need to do is just do a sync all. Uh, we'll save the configuration and we should see there's my e-directory users coming in. So those have come in. I've already imported the AD users that we had before. So 
that's um, importing users from an e-directory environment. Thank you for listening.